about Calvin, but from my studying, it sounds like to me he was of the amillennial persuasion, not the post-millennial persuasion. But nonetheless, post-millennialists, Calvinists and amillennial Calvinists are all Calvinists, I being a post-millennialist. Uh, Isaiah 46. So let's get back to these great doctrines. Isaiah 46. There is none other. I am God, and there is none like me. Declaring the ends from the beginning, from ancient time, time things that are not yet done. Isaiah 55:11 So shall my words be that goes forth from my mouth and it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish what I please and it shall prosper in the things for which I Sin it. God's will, God will salvation of elect. John 6.37 All that the Father gives me will come to me and the one who comes to me I will by no means cast out. John 6, 29, Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him who sent me, who sent, he sent. Father begot those he has willed, James 1, 18. Of his own will, he, of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. John 1.13 Not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor 
of man, but of God. Accomplished by giving life. John 5.21 For as the Father raises the dead, He gives life to, the, uh, to them, even... Even so, the Son gives life to whom He will. Ephesians 2. Four and five. But God who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loves us even when we were dead in trespasses made us alive together with Christ by grace you have been saved Acts 11.18 When they heard these things, they became silent and they glorified God, saying, Then God has also granted to the Gentiles repentance to life. is effectually applied by the Holy Spirit, Titus 3, five, Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy He saved us through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Second uh, Corinthians 3.18 But we all with unveiling, unveiled faces, beholding as in mirror of the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Acts 9, Paul, first know, known as Saul, is the perfect example of irresistible grace and the will of God being achieved for his salvation at the very moment when Saul was uh, leading in the slaughter of the elect strong rebel against will rebelled against God and his Christ who is irresistible and why one of the wildest ideas so prevalent among mission-minded people is that the lost are longing to hear the gospel and hungry for the things of God. Anyone who finds 
anyone eager to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ needs to be appraised of the fact that Jesus, that the Jesus he's offering and the word he is sharing are not of God. Our Lord is very clear in teaching that the world hates him. His word and his missionaries. Anyone who finds that, anyone who finds that, uh, anyone who finds everyone eager to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ needs to be apprised of the fact that the Jesus he is offering and the word he is sharing are not of God. Our Lord is very clear in his teaching that the world hates him, his word and his messenger. Irresistible grace is the reason for for the world hating God and his elect. Satan is the God of all dead spirits, angelic and human. Just as, uh, just as dirty minded men seek companionship of other, others with vile thoughts and those with pure minds delight in the companionship of like-minded persons. So dead human spirits are irresistibly drawn to leaders of the spiritually dead. This is why no unregenerated person ever freely wills to turn to God. The dead human spirit is repelled by the God of living spirits, both human and angelic. However, for the very same reason, all living spirits find the God of the living irresistible. They cannot help being drawn to him, trusting him, loving him, just as they are drawn to Satan, trusting the lie and loving the lie before the true God. For the true God regenerates them them all is before the true God regenerated them of his free will who were born one not of blood two not of the will of flesh three not of the will of man but of God whose will determines conception and birth of father or the born one. Preservation of saints. The continuance in grace and preservation of the Kirk we most constantly believe that God preserved, instructed, multiplied, honored, decked, and from death called to life his Kirk in all ages, from Adam till the coming of Christ Jesus in the flesh. 1. For Abraham he called from his father's country, him he instructed, his seed he multiplied. 2. The same he marvelously preserved, and more marvelously delivered from the bondage and tyranny of Pharaoh. 3. To them he gave his laws, constitutions, and ceremonies. 4. Them he possessed in the land of Canaan. 5. To them, after judges and after Saul, he gave David to be king, to whom he made promise, that of the fruits of his loins. Should one sit forever upon his regal seat. 6. To this same people, from time to time, he sent prophets to reduce them to the right way of their God. 7. From the which oftentimes they declined by idolatry. 
and albeit for their stubborn contempt of justice, he was compelled to give them in the hands of their enemies. 8. As before was threatened by the mouth of Moses. 9. Insomuch that the holy city was destroyed, the temple burned with fire. 10. And the whole land left desolate the space of 70 years. 11. Yet of mercy did he reduce them.